Okay, so this is what the carbon arc does. Puts these really cool grooves in here. You guys see what it's doing? Um, I would say we pretty much that step for this whole operation is to wrap it up, wind up the machines, and put the cables away. Put the machines away. Uh, a couple of little notes about carbon arc. It throws sparks a tremendous distance. Uh, I happen to be doing this outside and it's thrown at, oh, I don't know, 20, 30 feet um, without any doubt. Um, it's thrown it a long way. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you don't do this where there's flammables. Uh, it could set stuff on fire very, very quickly. The other thing is, I had ear, I had hearing protection on while I was doing this. That's why you didn't hear me talk over pieces of it because I would just been yelling. Um, the other part of this is you don't want to. You there will be a couple of things we're going to talk about with with the torch. You want to make sure that you you hang it somewhere where it's not going to arc out to where the work clamp is. Because if it arcs to the work clamp, you've got 800 amps going through this thing. It's going to be big time arcing. Okay, so here's the rod that's been used. It's sticking out about six inches and it's ready to go. I don't run any more than probably about six, eight, six to four to six inches out the front at any one time. You don't want to get too far away from the end of it because you're going to lose the velocity on the air. If you run them down too far, this is the nice side. This is the side where they ran it down too far. You see that white spot over there? That's somebody ran it in too far. But you can see the discoloration on the end of this rod. That's when it gets that short, that's when you start throwing these away. Okay, this is a flat carbon. You can see this is about how far I want it when I start running it. Maybe a little bit closer. But as you can see, I have the rod turned the flat way on this, okay? Not the highway. Highway's not gonna do you any good. But this takes just as many amps as that round one. The rod's coming in anything from size 3 16 out to over 3 quarters of a diameter. Inch. So a 3 8 rod has 6 16 of diameter. You need approximately 600 amps to make it run. This rod is about the same cross-sectional size, so you need about the same with this. That's the minimum is 600 amps for a 3 8 rod. If you're rocking 3 quarter inch rods, you gotta have some serious amperage. Well, just got done doing the video, and you guys should have some pretty good shots of what air carbon arc looks like when it's done. Big things to remember, this thing is a lot, a lot of amperage running through it, a lot of current. Uh, you're talking six, seven, eight hundred amps. So you want to be very careful with what you touch the electrode holder to and what you touch the work clamp to. Don't leave them just laying around thinking someone else is going to be picking up after you. Make sure when you're done, you wind the cables back up on the machine and put the machine away. Uh, don't leave the rod stubs laying around or you're gonna make a trip hazard. Uh, typically, you wanna do this probably down here. You probably wanna do this outside because it is kind of dusty and a little bit smoky. So you might wanna run it outside. I think.